Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom comic books edition for the week of July 30th, 2018. This week in comic books we have The End of the Simpsons. We have some new books that hit shelves this week. Uh, spoilers for Infinity Countdown Prime and some other stuff. So let's hit the intro. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. First things first, we are talking about Doomsday Clock number six. Uh, finally hit the shelves, and I feel like I feel like the the space between issues is starting to get to me. Uh, this issue didn't really accomplish much. We got the backstory ish on Marionette and the Mime, um, and little else. We did get that really awesome scene with the comedian taking out a bunch of minor DC villains. That was kind of cool, and where the hell did he come from anyway? I thought part of the story that's going on in Rebirth is Batman's trying to find the comedian, and yeah, I, I, it just was, I don't know, it felt kind of slapdash and thrown together. I mean, if you've read it, let me know what you think, but I just, I feel like... I feel like we have another, what, six issues left in Doomsday Clock, and this was not one that's, that really progressed, and, and that's where we're going to have to leave it. Next, though, is another new book that came out this week, Justice League Dark Number 1. We talked about this when they announced the series, um, and it looks like Tinian IV is, is really laying some solid groundwork for this new version of the Justice League Dark. Um, he makes even obscure characters like Detective Chimp feel very well thought out and, and, and solid. And I've never read much, I've, much of anything. I've only seen De Detective Chimp in like maybe a handful of other books. And it was really in passing. He wasn't ever really a, 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 a main character that I've read. So very, very well done. I'm, I'm, this one kind of makes up for the fact that Doomsday Clock has me bummed out. So I, yeah, check out Justice League Dark number one and let's have that conversation down in the comments. But we're going to move on and talk about The Simpsons. The Simpsons, the comic book, is one of the longest num... Uh, this is kind of a mouthful, so give me, give me a break. But it's one of the longest running renumbered comics in publication. It started in 1993, so it's been going for uh, almost, what is that? That's 25 years? Wow. Um, and it's, it's ending. It'll be coming to an end this October uh, with issue number 245. And, I mean, this publisher also puts out the SpongeBob comics, and SpongeBob is going on what sounds like an indefinite hiatus so is are are they shopping around these these uh, properties to other comic book shops because they're going out of business or are they just going to cancel them and then let the rights revert back to the original owners uh i don't know that's just a weird it's a weird thing to think that there's not going to be any simpsons comics on the stand anymore not that i ever read them so that's probably why there's not going to be any simpsons comics on the stand anymore but it just i don't know sign of the times i guess next up we have spoiler alert so i'm counting it one two three infinity countdown prime number one came out and thanos dies yes that's right the guy with the glove dies uh, it's, so, if you haven't read it, I just spoiled the ending for you, so good, congratulations, you didn't uh, heed the spoiler warning. But, uh, so, Requiem takes his freaking head off. Uh, there's still no actual telling who Requiem is. There's, the, the, nobody's referred to her as anything other than Requiem, and it was only Thanos that called her that, which kind of implies that they have some sort of connection. There's other things in the book that imply that connection as well. 
also there's things in the book that imply she's from the future and that her past which is our present uh has something to do directly with thanos so maybe maybe it's gamora i don't know it i did it, 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 it. we won't find out though until uh was october august we won't find out until august when the new infinity war infinity wars rather series starts so I, that's that was kind of a big thing kind of kind of huge actually so i don't know and then my favorite bit in comic books this week is the announcement that marvel zombies is coming back ish in the october solicitations for marvel books uh there is a new marvel zombie they dropped the s so it's marvel zombie is the new series and Judging by the synopsis, it kind of sounds like they're not going to be linking the what already exists, the the three books worth of Marvel Zombies that we already know. It sounds like they they're potentially not going to be linking those to this current story. It sounds like this is going to be a self-contained a, a new zombie universe, if you will. Um, I I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Uh, it could be good though. It could be fantastic. It could because the zombies books before were just campy and cheesy and re really like if you were to watch if you were to classify it like a movie, it's popcorn fodder. It's just your it's mindless stuff. Um, so theoretically, this new zombie book could be a lot more depth and a lot more well written uh, and a lot less just doing it because it's it's funny but more story driven and character driven so uh very interested to see what happens again marvel's track record as of late has not been sterling but it sounds like one we we're gonna want to give a try and that guys is where we're ending this week's episode thank you very much for watching all the way to the end what did i miss what should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go find all the freebies, all of the social media links, everything up on generallynerdy.net. Uh, also, links uh, to most of that stuff you can find down in the description, so check out all of the things. Or, if you want to support the channel, and I, I appreciate those that do support, there is a Patreon page, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. You can go up there and support the channel for just a dollar a month. That is the lowest tier, and you double your content. If you like the stuff that I'm doing now, then that dollar goes a long, a long way to get you a lot more content. So go check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, Click there, <clears throat> click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go do the things and click the stuff, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>